From a bin man turned millionaire that terrorized the neighborhood to a guy that put a hit out on his neighbor, here are five of the worst neighbors ever. Number one, Michael Carroll. In 2002, 19-year-old Michael Carroll was lucky enough to win the UK National Lottery and received a whopping $15 million in tax-free cash. He quickly bought a mansion in Norfolk, England, and this is where the nightmare began for his neighbors. Carroll turned his garden into a 24-hour racetrack where he and his friends would race old cars and terrorize the neighbors with constant noise and creating dust clouds. He would set off fireworks and flare guns during the middle of the night. He reportedly spent nearly $2 million of his winnings on drugs and hookers. One family living close to him couldn't take it anymore and sold their home and moved away. In 2006, it was reported that Michael Carroll was almost broke after spending most of his fortune on gambling, drugs, parties, jewelry, and cars. He now lives in Scotland, where he works in a biscuit factory. Number 2. Philip Roger Bennett In Cartersville, Georgia, Philip Roger Bennett, a 58-year-old man, was so angry with his neighbor for not mowing their lawn that he decided to set fire to their house. In 2013, after a very heated argument about the length of his grass, Marty Corbett says Philip Roger Bennett kicked down his door and was told he had five seconds to get out of the house. He then smashed one of his windows and returned to the house with two gas canisters in hand. Marty quickly grabbed his three-year-old daughter and ran outside. He then proceeded to watch his home and most of his possessions go up in flames. Philip was charged with nearly a dozen offenses including arson, aggravated assault, criminal property damage, cruelty to children, second-degree burglary, reckless conduct, criminal trespassing, and terroristic threats. He's currently awaiting trial. Number 3. Barry Ardolph In 2009, in the state of Minnesota, Matt and Bethany Kostolnik moved next door to 46-year-old Barry Ardolph. During the first day in their new home, their four-year-old son wandered into their next-door neighbor's garden, so Ardolf returned him home. However, before knocking on the door, he kissed the young boy on the lips. After finding this out, Matt Kostolnik, who worked as an attorney, was furious and called the police. Barry Ardolf didn't see what the issue was and was so angry he decided he would get even. He went ahead and hacked into their Wi-Fi and sent numerous sexual emails to Mr. Kostolnik's female co-workers. He then set up a fake MySpace account and posted child pornography on it, and also sent threatening emails to politicians, including Vice President Joe Biden. The Secret Service turned up at Matt Kostolnik's place of work to ask about the threats after tracing his IP address. They examined his Wi-Fi network and realized someone else had also been using it. They quickly traced the hack to Barry Ardolph, who was eventually charged with his crimes. He was sentenced to 18 years in prison. Number 4. Kathy Rowe Kathy Rowe, who was voted Mother of the Year in 2007, had her heart set on her dream home in Carmel Valley, San Diego. She was shocked when she was outbid by a couple named Jerry Rice and Janice Rutter. She was so shocked, in fact, that she decided to harass the couple to the point where they felt like prisoners in their own home. The couple first started noticing that their mail stopped being delivered. They received over $1,000 worth of unsolicited magazines, and they saw their home was listed online for sale again. On Valentine's Day, Jerry Rice was confronted by one of the neighbors who demanded to know why he'd sent a Valentine's Day card to his wife. Eight other wives in the neighborhood also received cards. Jerry googled his wife's name and was shocked to find Craigslist advertisements titled Carmel Valley Freak Show that invited men to come over to their house for sex. The listing said that Janice wanted men to come to their home and force themselves on her, as it was her fantasy to be raped. Janice's photo and address were also in the ads. Kathy Rowe was charged with soliciting rape, sodomy, identity theft, and harassment. During the trial, Rowe took a guilty plea and was sentenced to five years of probation, a year of electronic tag, and ordered to stay away from the couple for 10 years. She recently bought a new house for her and her disabled child, which happens to be located just a mile away from the couple. Number 5. Jeffrey Wright Leonard Jeffrey Wright Leonard has been described by many as the world's worst neighbor. For years, the 57-year-old man would terrorize the neighborhood by shining bright floodlights at their homes, throwing rocks at windows, and flinging dog feces into their gardens, all because he was angered over a long-standing dispute stemming from a parking issue. Leonard tried everything he could to get several of his neighbors to move, including a 70-year-old man who had previously gotten a restraining order against him for attempting to run him off the road. However, when Leonard's plans didn't work out, he decided to hire a hitman. Amazingly, Leonard met the would-be assassin in jail while serving time for an offense committed against another neighbor who he terrorized. Luckily for the 70-year-old resident, the hitman didn't go through with the murder. Instead, he reported to the police Leonard's intentions. 
In 2015, Jeffrey Wright Leonard was found guilty of attempted aggravated murder, solicitation to commit murder, and conspiracy to commit murder. He was sentenced to a minimum of 10 years in prison. Have a worst neighbor story of your own? Leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.